All right, gang. It's a Sunday afternoon. We have finished up the damn truck job over at the shop. And then I had to come back here and uh, I had another project. Now, I want to show you. Sometimes we get caught up in uh in our trade and only the big stuff we only look at the big stuff and um you need to get away from that there's a lot of small jobs that you can do and uh you can have a little fun building them and and play with them and they they breed creativity uh you you just have to open your eyes and see them and uh this thing I'm about to show you is is one of those projects. Um, they're kind of odd, and I, I had a request for one earlier in the year, and then that customer returned and wants another one. So here we go, and this is the finished part. Uh, it takes a little bit of tweaking, and yeah, it ain't exactly, uh, you don't make a pile of money. You make some money, but you don't, you don't, you don't get rich, but it's stuck, you know, uh, you build that and then who knows next round, they may want something bigger. So, or they say, well, and then you just make sure that these customers on these parts, um, know that you, you capable of doing whatever it is, you know, uh, from a, a damn piece of yard art to, a, a, a tractor, farm equipment repair or anything at all really you know as long as it's involved in metal and and your business will grow so uh y'all take a look at this thing and uh get some ideas it's out there okay this is what i'm talking about it's a it's a bottle tree and um like i said when i built the first one i made a video i, I had no clue hey sure I'll make you one. Um, still got to touch up some paint job on this, and I had to, a little extra limb here, and it, it didn't really, it wasn't really symmetrical. And you know, is anything but uh, let me let me start putting the bottles on. Big deal is uh, to make sure that your stem is long enough to get up into the end of the bottle, <clears throat> and not too damn long. You can't drop them on there. You knock the bottom off the bottle and have a mess. They just finish out. And like I said, I had no, I ain't never seen one of these damn things. But it ain't nothing, this one ain't nothing but a bunch of half inch round bar. Hot roll round. Uh, set it, put it in the vise. Of course, you'll want to pull the label off your bottles. And one of these things is handy. But, uh, that's what you get. And, uh, they'll wrap little Christmas lights around them and, uh, they do all kind of shit. Uh, I put these kickers on here. I, I, I did a little research on them and I didn't see any with those. And I'm planning on automatically, I got to start another one. Uh, probably next week it's gonna be similar to this one I'm kind of looking at this one and I'm thinking it's more like a dogwood I don't know the first one was more like a, a maple I don't know what it's called I just look at the stuff in my yard and that won't make one of them but uh yeah this is it I, it not a big deal uh, but your customer thinks it's a big deal you know, and, and that's what it's all about. When you're starting your business, it's about your damn customers, you know. Uh, give them what they want. Uh, try to make it nice. Like I said in an earlier video, 
it's just going to be around a while. You sign in your name when you do a job. But uh, I think this one, this one's you know, the second one. It's better. The first one they say is your worst one, and the first one wasn't bad. They're happy with it. Uh, there you go. It's just a little weekend deal. Something you can do in the afternoon. You got a vice, you got a torch, you got a little bit of imagination and a little welder. You can make a ball tree. Put it out in your front yard. Put a for sale sign on it. Put it at the farmer's market. Sell it to the bank. Who knows? Could turn into something. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment. This is Mo Damn Tire Creek Iron Works out.